top tart bit, what Chevron, is only allowed across there. You can't go actually on a public highway. I'm surprised about that, aren't you? Because it has to have... Um, could you really, because they've got stop and start lights, you see, to support the traffic. Right. And if there's anything heavy going over, there's a procedure where security will man the roads right. to actually stop traffic coming through. So. Right. I always thought without a, um, a, a number plate, a recognised UK number plate, you weren't allowed on there. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're in Sheffield at Sheffield Forge Masters. Quite a few auditors have been here to visit this place and I don't think they like the camera. So whilst in the area to support Live Free and Marty, we thought we'd come and have a look. And look, they've turned the lights on for us. So I've never tried this camera uh, in the dark before, but with this sort of lighting, who cares? Just like having uh, our own photo shoot here. Look at the floodlights on it. So yeah, we've got um, we've got Ryan Rampage, we've got Greater Manchester Media, and we've got Bannerman in the background. My friend, could we use your Waybridge? No, it's not open for public access anymore. Yeah, but could you just switch it on for us? Just want a quick go on it. You can't switch it on now. Come on, man. We'll stand on it, then I'll tell you. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Do you want to tear it first? I can't get a card, I can already tell you the numbers. Okay, mate. Are you ready? Yeah, go on then. Give me the damage. 80, 80, 80 kilo. 80 kilos! Yes, you know, no, because that weren't up to do with me. Were you here, Dad? Yeah, you're aware of it. Not, not so sure because uh, I don't think I'll work any time soon. So, so it was a me. good few months. Apparently, a guy called yeah. Steve, wasn't it? Steve? Yeah. Was that all this guy? Yeah, it was all Steve work here. Not it was a uh, manager. The manager. He's got yeah, his own YouTube channel. Yeah. That looks like an interesting uh, vehicle, guys. You don't see one of them every day, do you? Look at that! I hope, not, I hope that's not going on the public road. Needs a number plate. But yeah. Look at this little baby. Hello! <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I weren't expecting you to let me do that, mate, so respect for that. No, that's all right. Don't tell you the good guy, mate. Yeah, I know trespass laws, I know what's going on. So is that one yeah. Hey, mate, Ed, um, is this open um, 7.45 until 4? Yes. So it is open to the public then, is it? Uh, no, it's a private company, yeah. private firm, private business. What would those hours um, relate to then? Why would they, they be displayed to the public? That would be uh, office hours. Oh, right, okay. So, so you know, like when there's office staff on site, you know, we do have a shift workers on, but uh, obviously you can't so, have access to do you know if, Do you know if my children were at a local primary school yeah. and I wanted to approach this company for like to sponsor one of our events, etc., yeah. would I be welcome to come in here and talk to someone about that? Would it be us that would make that decision? Yeah, but, but would it be this, this particular desk? No, what you'd have to do, there's no real access to the public. Uh, what you'd have to do is ring the uh, number on the website, then you'd be able to talk to someone. Right, okay. And then they'll advise you properly. Okay. Don't go through barrier for me, mate. No, they'd, be able, they'd be able to advise you properly. Obviously, this 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 uh, zebra line here is is made for pedestrians, isn't it? Well, no, it's for health and safety on site. So as you can see, we've got every plant coming now. Yeah. So he'd be aware that if somebody were on the side wanting to cross, he'd stop and let them pass. Yeah. Wow, that's a big one, isn't it? So let me know the weight of that, mate. That's twenty-two. Twenty-two that's ton. Empty. Wow. So if it was full, would it be fair to? What? 46. 46 ton? Wow. What? It's an engineer, so every engineer is working, you know. Would steel come in in bars and then you change it to other things? Yeah, it'd be scrap melted down and then repurposed into something, you know, useful for, I don't know, an off-site commercial use, perhaps, something like that. But what's the main thing that you output? What's the main product that you give? Steel making. Yeah, but name I something. Can't do, do, on it. Just anything, just so we can educate people. I'll tell you what, if you look up website, it'll tell you exactly what it is then, and if you want to narrate that on your video, it's all public information. Yeah. So it's not public I mean, now. if you say you don't know, that's that's fair enough. I don't know. Okay, okay, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Not, not specifics. Yeah. You know, 
Would well, you know, mate? What's the what's the like most common thing that you output here? What's the most common thing? Interface with one. Interface. Uh, what, what did you say? Like, what's the most <laughs> mo most common thing that you output here as a product that you sell to the customer? Well, these guys want like contractors. Oh, are you? Yeah. Yeah, Wrong I'm person. Not, I'm, I'm not. Is that vehicle allowed on the public road? It's allowed over a public highway. So it's what, without no out. without no real plate. Without no real registration plate. It's allowed on the public highway without a... No, it's allowed to cross over. It's just as an aside, it's on It's marked our bit, what's Chevron, it's only allowed across there. It can't go actually on a public highway. I'm surprised about that, aren't you? Because it has to have... Um, could Not you... really, because they've got stop and start lights, you see, to, to avoid the traffic. Right. And if there's anything heavy going over, there's a procedure where security will man the roads to right. actually stop traffic coming through, so... Right. I always thought without a, um, a, a number plate, a recognised UK number plate, you weren't allowed on there. So you've educated me as well. But have you have you physically drove that before over the other side of you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it easy to easy to drive? The normal clutch. Automatic. Oh, is it? Just a stop and a go. Reverse. Lift, skip, put, skip that. So he just said it, it weighs 20 ton while it's empty. Yeah. When it's full, would it weigh what, 40? Uh, well, I don't know what it is. 20 ton. Then I, can't, I don't think we can exceed 25, so probably 45 is its maximum. Wow, that's a beast then, isn't it? Uh, what type of material do you transport in that? Am I obliged to say? <laughs> You? I watch your channels, so <laughs> it's alright. Are you subscribed? I was just going to ask him what his channel was, so I could... Which one? Do you want my channel? Thank you for participating, mate. No worries, mate. You, you've behaved uh, unusually well. <laughs> and respect. Just as on the side on that, when I were a lad, well, there used to be train tracks all across here, and the trains used to go straight through, because as far as you could see, and probably a couple of miles you could walk, used to be all steel factories, that way and that way. Wow, so literally, that's why it's got a straight edge to it, because it used yeah. to be train tracks. Yeah, because the train track used to go straight across, they'd fill the trains up and they'd be off to... Wow, well, so I bet if you stand here then, you'll have a, a straight line. Yeah. Yeah? Straight from there, all the way down there, train tracks. That's yeah, good knowledge. It's all, it's all very different from when I, when I were a lad. I'm showing my age now, but yeah, the train used to go straight through there. How many years are we talking? Uh, phew, I'm 51 now. We're probably talking when I was 10, 15 years old. Wow. Uh, but I believe it's only recently that the tracks were, were removed because yeah. I can actually remember driving across them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's not gonna be that long since they were removed, but all this area, used to be on ditch drill, it's not like it is now, we made a wall and everything there. This used to, if you used to drive through the whole steelworks, it would take you like six, seven, eight minutes to drive through, uh, driving at probably 20 miles an hour. Uh, yeah. It used to be a massive industrial area, but now most of it's gone except for this. Yeah. It, hall centres and police stations, metal wall. Obviously they've established here and they've chose to stay here yeah. for whatever reason. I bet this used to be the way bridge back in the day. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And then they've uh, improved things and done it on there, but this guy is a bit eager to carry on his job, so I think we should move on. Yeah, but if you come on site immediately and start abusing people, I mean, if I come to you and say, that you're a fucking wanker, straight away, and I've never met you before, you've got to put on me. You'd be angry, wouldn't you? You'd want to, like, defend they're yourself. Come, they're coming that day yeah. because of what they... I understand that. Yeah, I understand what you're on about, like. That's why they're coming that day, actually. Yeah, yeah. And they're going to come up with it. They're going to have an actual. Yeah. We're going to stay with the foundation. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's it. So, about bounty and all that. I just wanted to see if this place had learnt its lesson, and you obviously have, so yeah, big yeah. up to you. Yeah, it's all right, you know what I mean? No, you learn, no, you go on. Yeah, yeah, because overreaction just to a camera. Yeah. You know, it's great entertainment, but it don't do your company yeah. image any good. There's more of people aware now than what the yeah. law says. Good. So, so, so we're making a difference. Like, oh, having a look around. Yeah. This yeah. has got like sort of public access. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. And it's interesting what you do here. You know, people, yeah, are, oh, people can't come normally, so we're coming for them. Yeah, yeah. That's right, fine. anyway, let's go. Take care, thanks for talking to us, mate. See you on YouTube. Take care. Thanks for talking to us, mate. See you on YouTube. <laughs> well, what a difference, eh? What a difference. So, let's go across the road.
uh, the last video was across the road there. And we've not had to travel far for this one. Got some nice memorials on the wall. That's good to see. Wow, look at that for a scaffold. Some money's worth there, I'll tell you. And like any gust of wind, they really do have to uh, either tie that into the building or be clever with what they do. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of work and a lot of thought goes into something that high. So this place is not very well lit. So I'm not sure how the camera's gonna behave on this one. But they have got some nice sculptures to see. I'm gonna need a, a bit of a torch on that. Whoa, look at that baby. Blowing the flute. I'd love to get a bit closer to give that a little blow, see if it works. Let's give it a go, look. No, it don't work guys, it don't work. It's purely just for show. Those that have seen my previous videos, we like to see these signs. So one day since the last accident, that means they had an accident yesterday. Oh, that's not very good. Got the, the old uh, hand sanitizer. I hope this is not empty. Oh, guys, that means they've managed to go 59 days. So the record is only 59 days since somebody has an accident here. So they, somebody had an accident yesterday and the, the record is 59 days. Well, that's not good enough, is it? So it's quite dangerous working here. <laughs> Very dangerous place. Now, hopefully we've got some uh, sanitizer in this one. Oh yes, we have, yeah. That's all right then. So you can come and get your hand sanitizer there. But nothing else really to, uh, to point out on this one. Guys. This is not very good. Excuse me, mate. Could I get a little bit of hand sanitizer? Yeah, uh, thank you, mate. Because the, the one on the gate, it's run out. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. You're going to fill it up tonight, yeah? Brilliant, yeah. Well done, mate. That was quite pleasant. He could have decided to be an arse, but he wasn't, so respect for that. So yeah, that's about it from this one. This other site, Sheffield Forge Masters, I'm gonna leave it there and I'll see you on the next one guys. Take care.